empower me. Wow. January 17th. The call of the natural life. When it pleased God to reveal his son in me. Galatians 1, 15 through 16. The call of God is not a call to serve him in any particular way. My contact with the nature of God will shape my understanding of his call and will help me realize what I truly desire to do for him. The call of God is an expression of his nature. The service which results in my life is suited to me and is an expression of my nature. The call of the natural life was stated by the Apostle Paul when it pleased God to reveal his son in me that I might preach him that is purely and solemnly express him among the Gentiles. Service is the overflow which pours from a life filled with love and devotion. But strictly speaking, there is no call to that. Service is what I bring to the relationship and is the reflection of my identification with the nature of God. Service becomes a natural part of my life. God brings me into the proper relationship with him so that I can understand his call and then I serve him on my own out of a motivation of absolute love. Service to God is the deliberate love gift of a nature that has heard the call of God. Service is an expression of my nature and God's call is an expression of his nature. Therefore, when I receive his nature and hear his call, his divine voice resounds throughout his nature and mine. And the two become one in service. The Son of God reveals himself in me. And out of devotion to him, service becomes my everyday way of life. Wow, what a simple word. After he reveals himself to me, Service becomes my everyday way of life. Galatians 1, 15 through 16 says, But when he who had set me apart before I was born and who called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. That scripture right there says that Paul is talking about life and his testimony of God's grace in his life personally. I love the phrases he uses to describe what God had done to save him from his sin and from himself. When it says in verse 15, when he who had set me apart before I was born. And this language that we see all over the Bible of God making us, forming us fearfully and wonderfully in his image in our mother's womb 
far before anyone else could see us. Galatians chapter 1 verse 15 through 16 teaches us that God knows us. How many of you today know that God knows you? God knows us. And he knew us. And in a sense, God's work was beginning in our lives before we were even born. And he, who called me by his grace, what a picture of the God of the universe calling our names by his grace. Can you imagine him calling your name, Linda? Can you imagine him calling your name, Daryl? Can you imagine him calling your name, Cynthia? Can you imagine him calling your name, Jean? Calling your name. Calling you by name. Before you were ever born. Keep in mind, we we were rebelling against God. Running from God. And God in his mercy took the initiative to call us by his grace. And then verse 16 said, God was pleased to reveal his son to me. What a great picture. God was pleased to reveal Jesus to Paul, who's writing this right now. God was pleased to reveal Jesus to you and to me. It pleased God to open our eyes to the beauty and the love and the truth and the grace of Jesus. And then the last phrase that he uses, he said, in order that. So here's a purpose. Why did God do this? Why was God pleased to reveal his son Jesus to you? In order that I preach him among the Gentiles, among the nations. Do you see this? God told Paul, he said, I set him apart before he was even born, called him by his grace, and was pleased to reveal Jesus to him, so that Jesus might be proclaimed among the nations. Without question, there's a unique calling in our lives. And in a sense, there's a unique calling in everyone's lives. But the basic calling by God's grace to open our eyes to Jesus is in order that we might proclaim him among the nations. God has revealed you, my friends, my family, my loved one, my co-worker, my acquaintances. God has revealed himself to you that you might preach Jesus amongst the unbelievers, amongst those who have never heard of him. He says, I want to reveal my son to you. Unless he is revealed to you, you cannot truly preach him. So I want to encourage you to put yourself in these phrases from Galatians verse chapter 1 verse 15. As I pray right now, God, we praise you as our creator. As the one who fearfully and wonderfully made each one of us in your image. And how you knew us before we were ever born. You knew me before anyone else knew me. And God, for all of us who are your sons and daughters, who have put our faith in Jesus, we recognize that's all by your grace. It's indeed all because you called our name. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for calling my name because you took the initiative to save us, 
We praise you for being pleased. You said you were pleased to reveal Jesus to us. Has Jesus been revealed to you today? God, I praise you for opening my eyes and each one of our eyes. Father, we praise you for opening our eyes to his truth, for opening our eyes to his beauty and his love and his mercy, even opening our eyes to his wisdom and his justice. God, you have opened our eyes to who? Jesus is. Thank you for revealing your son to us. Father, I thank you that even when the people came, they said we would see Jesus. We would see this Jesus. We pray that the effect of all of that might be that we would proclaim him and proclaim his name, that we would preach him and tell others about him among the nation, among our friends, among our family members. God, we pray that the effect of your grace in our lives today would be the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God, we pray that you call others by your grace today through us. Father, give us boldness to share this gospel with others. Father, thanking you so much for your word brings light and brings life. Father, we thank you the call of this natural life. You said, I call you. And when you have pleased me, God, I will reveal my son to you. If you have not had Jesus revealed to you, have you sought the Lord? He said, seek me first. And all of my righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. Father, I thank you that you're adding unto us every single day. Father, I thank you that you're not subtracting from us, but you're adding unto us. And you're allowing the call to be expressed to us individually based on who we are. The call, you said, is suited for me. Is personally made for me when it pleased you. You revealed your son in me. Without you revealing your son in me, I can't preach the gospel like it needs to be preached. Father, I thank you today. Father, I thank you that you are empowering me right now giving me wisdom to rise above the things that are going on in this world today. Giving me the ability to walk upright when everything crooked is coming my direction. Father, I thank you that the weapons of this warfare, which are corny, they're not mighty, but they're fleshly. Father, I thank you that I'm walking in your spiritual wisdom, in your spiritual strength, and your spiritual giftings. Father, I glorify your name today. You are so worthy of praise. You are worthy of love. Father, I love you. We love you so much today. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I said thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That you have expressed yourself inside of me that I might be a mirror of your word a mirror of your goodness a mirror of your upstanding and your uprightness so Father today I thank you again 
for your word today call the call of the natural life found in Galatians chapter 1 verse 15 through 16 and as I've said so often I don't come on here to make anybody happy sing holler shout or dance but I come to give them exactly what you gave me Father, and I thank you that you gave me this word, Empower Me Wow, which stands for Wisdom Over Wounds. Father, I thank you that we seek your face, that others would understand that they were created in the womb, and you knew them even in their mother's womb, and you called us even in our mother's womb. Father, I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. No lie, no thief, no discouraging word. There's so many discouraging words out here now. Father, when people have a calling of their own, they're spending so much time discouraging others from doing what you call them to do. I know your word says, stand in the own calling wherewith I have called you. Don't be easily shaken. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit right now. Don't be easily shaken out of the call. Don't let anyone else transfer their call over onto you. You must know what God has called you to do. You must know what God has called you to go. You must know what God has called you to say. Don't be a duplicate. Don't be a be who has God has called you to be. It is important to stand in your own calling. So today, remember me in prayer as I will remember you in prayer. These podcasts are found on most podcast channels under Empower Me Wow, Wisdom Over Wounds, Pain Simultaneously, is another one of my podcasts called The Drill Sergeant Series Creating Jewels for the Kingdom of God That podcast will bless you during this season of stress and challenges that is upon the world There is a word individual in there for each and every one of you It will lead you through these dark challenges And the things that are coming up on this earth. The things that you were seeing. Your word. God's word said that men's heart. Will be failing them for fear. And for looking at those things that are coming up on the earth. And so we see these things on a daily basis. But the Lord says fret not. Neither be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's the word I want to leave with you today. Don't be afraid. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the fact that he knew you. He knows you. He's known you since before you were in your mother's womb. So God bless you today. If you would like to respond to me, I would love to receive a testimony, an emoji, emoticon. A word from you that blesses you on these podcasts. But please remember this one thing. I am a married woman. Please don't send me anything disrespectful or out of order. I will not. I promise you. I will not reply to you if you disregard my husband, Reginald. So today again, the call of the natural life. We give you honor. We give you glory, God. Because you have been pleased to reveal your son in me. So I want you to know today as we close. The blessing of the Lord be upon you and the son Jesus is love. Remember me in prayer as I remember you in prayer. God bless you. This is Sister Barbara. Go with God. Bye-bye.